This block magnet, sitting inside the magnetic field inside a Hallback array, twists to align itself with a magnetic field. This magnetic field in there, about 12 gauss strong, twists or torques the magnet to pop up and align it. It's the same kind of magnetic force that twists a compass needle to align pointing north on the surface of the Earth. Now this force is not quite enough to lift it when we orient this rectangular magnet long ways. The gravity force has a little extra torque and makes it fall down. This thinner magnet, it's a two inch by one inch by 16th inch thick magnet, wobbles back and forth for a long time. We found it kind of mesmerizing to watch. Now the strength of a magnet, uh, its magnetic dipole moment, is really a measure of how much torque a magnet feels in a given magnetic field. So here we're putting a weight, a dime in this case, to help push down the magnet. The torque of the dime pushing down holds it down. When you reduce the torque, at some point, the magnetic field wins and flips it up. Now all that's dependent on the strength of the ambient magnetic field. Here we put a, a one inch rubber coated block magnet inside a much stronger array. This array gave us about 73 gauss in the middle and it takes a lot of quarters to hold it down. That was about $3 <laughs> worth of quarters. I did it. So it was a lot of force holding this magnet down. Now, if we take this same exact magnet and put it in a weaker magnetic field, it doesn't take nearly as much force to hold it down. The magnetic torque acting on it is a lot weaker. Here, a single dime can hold it down. But it really doesn't want to go. The torque a magnet feels depends on the magnet itself, but also on the strength of the magnetic field it's sitting in.